where do our superstitions come from? Why do we believe in them? Is there a hard science to what we believe, or is it something else? The humble pigeon may hold the secret to why we are superstitious. A 1947 experiment showed that when pigeons were fed at regular intervals, they would perform the same actions preceding the release of food. The pigeons seemed to believe that they were influencing when they were fed. Witches are central to many modern superstitions. Black cats were believed to be an alternate form of a witch and were considered bad luck as a result. Religion also plays a central role in many of our superstitions. Walking under a ladder was once considered an affront to the Holy Trinity, breaking the triangle. Some religions give rise to more superstitions than others. For example, voodoo. Superstition right now. about voodoo? Voodoo, they will shrink your head, is what they'll do. They'll, they'll find you in the night. That's when they find all their victims. They'll come in the night and they chop your head off. They put it in some weird voodoo water and it gets all shrunken and weird looking and it gets sold to some tourists down in Haiti. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you never go to Haiti. Ever. Because that's where voodoo is. The only acceptable voodoo place to go is New Orleans. Okay? And even that's kind of sketchy in some parts. Just don't go to Haiti. The whole zombified person type thing. Mm -hmm. The whole, they'll like come and they'll throw this weird voodoo powder on you and you'll be like, you'll look like you're dead for like four weeks and then you wake up and you're like one of their zombie people. And like, voodoo's just bad. Kids never, never go to Haiti. You know, to each his own, as the great riffraff once said. But, I mean, if you believe in something, I mean, and you kind of freak out about If you kind of freak out about seeing a black cat and you, like, hide yourself in your house, you're being kind of an idiot. You're kind of an idiot. Or if you, like, refuse to walk under ladders, you're kind of stupid, too. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, that's more of an understandable one, because, you know, falling stuff from the top of the ladder is kind of scary. But, like... If you're like constantly going around like throwing salt over your shoulder or something stupid, I mean, I mean, you're just kind of an idiot. So what do you think? Do these beliefs hold water, or are they just a waste of time? The devil. Okay, the devil's moving that weird little thing around. Okay. Okay. I continue. Is there, is there a Ouija behind you?